am Dr. Sanjana, consultant physician at Bangalore Baptist Hospital. Today I will be talking on the topic of stroke. You never know when, but every year approximately 185,000 Indians have a stroke with nearly one stroke occurring every 40 seconds. There are two types of stroke. Ischemic stroke occurs when there is a blood clot and hemorrhagic stroke occurs when there is a damage to the blood vessel. Another common entity is the transient ischemic attack which occurs due to temporary interruption of the blood supply. Usually, the symptoms resolve within 24 hours. It is also known as the warning stroke. Contrary to the popular belief, stroke does not only occur in the elderly. Stroke can happen to anyone at any time. Some are more susceptible than others due to the presence of certain risk factors. Some risk factors are present within our body and nothing can be done about them, like age. The risk of stroke increases with increasing in age. Gender, more women develop stroke than men. Family history, uh, the greater risk of stroke is seen in individuals who have a family member with a stroke. While other risk factors are usually modifiable by simple measures like stopping smoking, control of blood pressure, control of blood sugars, uh, control of blood cholesterol levels, active lifestyle and a healthy diet. It is important to note the symptoms of stroke, so early diagnosis is the key to proper treatment. Uh, BFAST is a common uh, acronym used to identify a stroke. B stands for balance, so sudden onset of imbalance, dizziness or unsteadiness. E stands for eyes, sudden onset of diminution or loss of vision in one or both eyes. F stands for face drooping of face on one side. You can ask the patient to smile and notice unequal smile. A stands for arm, weakness or numbness of one arm or leg. You can ask the patient to lift the arm and notice drifting of the arm downwards. S stands for speech, sudden onset of difficulty in speaking or slurring of speech. Brain cells die every second. So on spotting a stroke, immediate attention should be provided or get the patient to the hospital as soon as possible. Also remember the onset of the stroke as it helps the doctor in immediate treatment. Sometimes being fast is all that matters. It may not happen to you, but identifying the signs can save a life. Thank you.